hello guys welcome back this is the another video of this series and here i'm going to tell you about what is the difference between order by and sort within partition method in PySpy. okay so for that you know what i will be doing i will be making a data frame okay so uh, you know i'll just creating a dummy data frame so i can use uh, uh, spark dot range function and inside this i will pass some you know the starting index starting number i can say and the end number so i can say i will be creating let's say 10 lakhs of rows of data right and uh, mm -hmm -hmm -hmm, make it one and then i'll just do here a display okay let me just do it and we'll see what it will return so it returns the id column which is having uh, these many rows okay pretty good now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna check the number of partitions in this so i will be writing uh, no first i will be doing pyspark dot sql dot function and i'm just importing all the functions for time being okay uh, but you have to actually use only the required functions i mean you 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 you, you should not use here star or extract you should use a dedicated function which you are gonna use it right uh, okay now i'm gonna use display df dot uh, with column okay and here i am gonna use spark underscore partition underscore id uh, and here i'm gonna call spark partition id column which will give me the uh, columns i mean the uh, rows uh, in each partitions okay and uh, first of all let me just check out how many partition do we have so rdd uh, get num partitions so let me just check it currently we are having only eight partitions uh, okay pretty good now uh, this is done right and here what i'm doing i will be doing here is group by group by on basis of this and uh, then you can use aggregate function count of star you can see we are having uh, you know a v, I mean the data is uh, present in a correct v in a correct order right like in each partition we are having around uh, you know 1,25,000 rows uh, okay very good now what I will be doing I will be I will be using df dot sort or we can say order by you know on which uh, column I will be using id column and I can just do here a count okay it returns around uh, this many rows okay very good now there is another way now when i do here id right when i do here order by so what it happened is that it uh, it order i mean it sorted the data on basis of id column on basis of id columns okay across the partitions okay so uh, okay can i use here random I'm not sure whether it is a correct way to do or no so let me just do it okay so uh, the the thing is that you know uh, this data is already sorted right and that's why it may, it may not take uh, uh, that much time to sort the data but you can assume that if the data is not sorted right I mean we have a random uh, numbers present over here right so in that case what will happen a shuffling sh shuffle shuffling will happen uh, across the uh, partitions right so it may take more time and now so this is the reason we have another function called sort with within partition so in within partitions within partitions we will do a sort okay on basis of id column and here we can pass whether ascending uh, ascending order or you know descending order it's depend on us so okay it's not coming okay let it be you know uh list of okay and here i can also do here count right so if i do a call of this 
dot decreasing so the numbers is same and it took uh, the same time but you know when you have a bunch of huge data uh, which is not sorted then uh, then you can see the difference okay i just wanted to understand you that what is the difference between these two so that you can uh, you know use it but ideally in many cases we we have to do a order by on all the partitions right so generally we use this function only but sometimes you know if you want to use i mean if there is a scenario that you need to just uh, you know if i mean uh, order i mean sort the uh, data within partition then you can use that uh, thing right now let me just open it so global sort so global sort mean this order by right and there is another thing called uh, sort within partition so costly it requires a full shuffle of data across the clusters slow increases processing time significantly especially with large data set not scalable not scalable performance degrade as data volume grows you know we already know that you know if we have a huge data number of partitions are too huge then the shuffling will happen right to just sort the data right now we have the sort within partition so efficient keep sorting logical local to each partition avoid expensive data shuffles faster reduce overall processing time because you know shuffling will not happen scalable handle large reset more gracefully so we just have to play with the partitions and then this will work right so i hope that you understood this and if you are liking this series this free youtube series i would suggest you check out my uh my uh, my you know my paid course which is, is which is on databricks and you can learn from there also in in that i will be up i will be including some more topics more hot topics you know not the old topic like that okay so thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture